We are arriving at Pontins. Fan Bay. It's a Zella. It's, uh, it's just going to be interesting. The reviews online have uh, been anything but positive. So let's, let's have a look at little old Sam Bay. Is this the parking? Um, this could be the parking. No, it's coach parking only, but it has cars in it. There's old Sam Bay look. You can have a picnic there. Um, let's, uh, let's have... Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> Right. Well, this is it. I think we park around here. So pontins look. It actually says new pontins. There's a little po uh, post box there where you can do your mail. And here's the main entrance. New pontins. And uh, yeah, there's the coach parking we saw earlier where you park your car apparently. And uh, yeah, we're gonna check it out. See uh, see what pontins here. Is, uh, is all about. I wonder if people live at Pontins kind of permanently. I uh, will see. Uh, no one's here. So I gotta fill out this form apparently. So here's what we're being given, a car park pass, a mysterious envelope, and tonight's entertainment, which we'll look at. Uh, you got to be super patient, there's just one old lady working by herself, and uh, at old lady pace. So here's our room, here, 312. That says there, uh, our first impressions, oh, wow. Well, there's some rusty screws and chipped paint and stuff. I don't think the window closes properly. Might be an issue. Might not be. But uh, yeah, here's the room. Let's check it out. So we were expecting like a bare bed with with nothing made up, but actually there's a, a duvet here with a cover on it. Mattress is made up, and there's pillows too. See. That is surprising, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Couple lights, little cabinet, wonky switch. Uh, over here, we have a couple, couple stains there, but I mean, that's, that's okay, perhaps. Uh, the window, yeah, the window. The window doesn't close. I don't, I don't know why. I've been, I've been jamming with it for a little time, but for whatever reason it, it opens fine it has that weird leany thing but when you try and close it it doesn't close all the way so it might be a problem there's a radiator look it they give it half a paint job but a bit of coffee on there but i don't think that's a big deal either the uh, welcome pack We've got coffee tea more tea thai food tea some sugar Check out the whitener. <laughs> Pretty sure it wasn't meant no, to come give it the look. Oh man. Yeah. <laughs> Two cups. It's alright, I think. Oh, it's okay. Kettle? What's the kettle saying? Kettle oh. Kettle is is um yeah. It's, it's definitely not clean, but it works. And drawers here, look. Seem okay. Carpet seems nice. Now, um, yeah, we saw a lot of bad reviews online. And uh, I said, please give us a nice room. Now, that light doesn't work. Um, so maybe that helps. Here's the wardrobe. You got the classic wire hangers in there uh, no electric meter no oven I, I guess there's a different type of room you can have here's the bathroom light uh, does that one not work? I don't think that works here's the bath 
It's quite nice actually. Toilet. This water, I don't even know why they have a tap here because it will literally burn your skin off like acid. Here's the view from the room. See a few brambles. There's a river here, it runs all the way through for a few miles. It's just full of green algae. Um, so yeah, not much of a view, I guess. A uh, bit of toilet roll up, it's okay. You get a little non slip bath mat. And they give us towels too. The lights don't work, I don't know why. But um, yeah, look, give us towels. Yeah, one big one or one mini one. We brought our own bedding, but I guess we didn't need that in the end. And uh, the bed. Yeah, bed looks alright, I think. A couple random stains. I see a few random stains. But otherwise okay. I see the pillows. It's alright. Little, little mark on there, but it might be pen. It might be pens, okay. Uh, overall impressions? Mm -hmm. 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. That's not bad, <laughs> is it? 8 out of 10. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're going to go for lunch now, or well, dinner. Here's our itinerary. So, Thursday today, we have line dance requests. But we actually can't check in till 4, so none of that really applies. And if you're only staying one night, well, we can't do that either. But here we go, look, bingo sales. And then welcome to the stage with Tony England. And then the actual bingo. And Tony England comes back. And then there's a cabaret and a late night disco. Choice of words there implies it might be full of grannies. I think those are going to be more like a 2 out of 10. <laughs> okay, well, we'll see. Hey, look at the light. There's like a big collection yeah. of... Uh, uh, fly uh, things in. So that's okay. <laughs> it's okay, isn't it? But yeah. well, they have got some new things like this Pleasant curtain rails experience. come up recently, and it's the light in there that's cling on still. So someone's made an effort. Mm -hmm. Fred Pontin will not be quite rolling in his grave over the quality of the room. Um, yeah. So there we go. Okay, let's go for dinner. How bad could it be? Okay, so the goodie bag, there's a wristband here, apparently you need to wear, they'll do spot checks, if you don't. Um, your accommodation, um, yeah, it doesn't really say much, but there is one thing to note. Your towels won't be changed any time during your stay, even if it's a three or four night reservation. If you're staying longer than a week, then we will change them once a week on the seventh day. So you will need to keep your towel for seven days. So uh, don't don't wipe your bum with it too much, otherwise you're not getting a new one. So uh, yeah, it's just... so about to have a dinner. Look, here's the restaurant menu. These are the dinner times and breakfast times. So you only have a two-hour window. You can't check in late, otherwise you'll miss it. And uh, yeah, that's a good Thursday. That's today. We have uh, chef soup of the day. Liver and bacon, look, and uh, look, gato, look. Uh, let's look at a sample Saturday. That's a good day, isn't it? Look. Chicken curry. Wow. Let's see. Oh look, smart casual. Are you ready? Oh look. You can get more food over here too. Ready for the food? Yep. It's more your cottage <laughs> pie on there, <laughs> but than in there. Oh, All right. Wow. Well. Oh. It's a big chicken breast. Cottage pie. Mom, you can split that into yeah. three. Yeah. Well, I just don't have that one. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, a bit of cottage pie on there. What's that, liver and bacon? Oh yeah, a bit of that. Mm. It ruined the bacon. <laughs> oh my god, no. Let's not get a scary bit. Let's get a nice non-scary bit. Scary. Yeah. What's that? Is that a chicken? Yeah? Should probably get a chicken as well. Actually, look at that chicken. It's alright, isn't it? Not on me. What's we got? It looks like your favourite. But... There's more over there too. Wait, look at that chicken. Look, you got new potatoes up here. Let's not get a new potato. I think we're gonna get a jagged potato. A little bit of healthy veg to go with our meat. Let's get a jacket spud look. Let's get one of these. Big old potato there. They look alright, they do. And uh, finally, a bit of gravy. Pretty thin. Pretty thin, but I think it'll be nice. Hopefully. Alright, what else we got then? Look at this look. Is that ketchup? Brown sauce. Grapes, brown sauce. Let's get a napkin, that you bet. Alright. That should be fun. Uh, that's that like cheesecake with a jello hat. Cheesecake with a jello hat, yeah. Here's the cream, look. There's a milk machine too, so you can get milk. And then, uh, that looks like cheesecake too. Uh, that's carrot cake. They're peaches. And then, uh, I don't know what that one is. And chocolate cake. It's all right. It's good. Everywhere I go. You got a little barbecue chicken, I think. I think. I think. Cheese, like look. Sausages. Richmond sausage. A bit of pickle. And uh, lettuce, look, lettuce. Bit of brown, but it's not too bad. You're getting some chicken on there. Yeah, oops. You're getting some chicken. <laughs> I found a mysterious bottle, look. Here, it's unnamed, it. but anything could be in here. It's probably salad cream. Salad cream. I think it, yeah, salad cream. It's salad cream, salad cream. Oh. You're getting the soup. This is not, not what I thought it would be. The chicken soup. Yeah, it looks like cream. So I think it's, it's not cream, it's chicken. Um, cream of chicken. Okay, here's our dinner. You got chicken soup, dessert bowl, dinner, and we have forest fruit squash. Uh, it was the only one working. All right, let's uh, let's way check more in. Organized. It was all right actually. <laughs> I was hungry. It was good. Even the dessert. I got a tea. Yeah, not too bad. Couldn't finish that chicken. That was a bit too much. At least free Wi-Fi. Look. So we're doing a bit of a tour right now. There's reception where we were before. Check this out, look. Piano. Unguarded. And it works. That could be dangerous. Mm -hmm. There's an entertainment room, look, with a pool table and a little fire escape. Are you gonna play us something? Mm, no. Oh yeah. Here's some of the entertainment, look. Bit of, bit of dancing. So this is the arcade at an adults only Pontins. It's pretty much just gambling machines. There's the entertainment through there, you can just see. But yeah, it's just pretty much gamblers. Not, not much in the way of video games, unfortunately. Check out this vending machine. Oh, what are you gonna get? One. I'm gonna get that one. <laughs> Check it out, we found another piano. Look. But you can't get in front of it because it's next to a window. You gotta. They're right next to it. Let's give them some music. I'll play that. Um. You book your next holiday, look, but it's closed. Let's have a seat instead. Have a good think about what we're gonna do. Hey, it does say arcade. Oh, it's a lie. And this carpet is uh, something else. 
<laughs> this is reception too, look. See? <laughs> so bad. Hey, let's meet the team, look. There's an awful lot of team missing right now. But there are a couple. He's hiding behind here. But there's a couple of uh, people here. Three. And they're all managers, look. Mm -hmm. All managers. Everyone's a manager. Check out this phone box, look. I think it's for decoration. Check out the phone, look. Oh, there's no dial tone. Oh, that's a shame. Whoa, look at that. There's no dial tone. Isn't it? Right, here's where all the rooms are. I don't know how we're gonna get back out again. There's a post here now. <laughs> There's the restaurant. Now you're locked in pontons. I'm sorry, but that's just the way it is. There's the pool. Oh, never mind, it's that way. Ah, pontons, uh, pontons. The Queen Vic bar look, mini golf. A toilet. Ah, uh, but this, this was the main reason we came to Pontons. <laughs> Let's check it out. I think it's down here. But these the rooms look, kind of look the same all throughout. A little bench look, where you can sit down, wonder what you might have for lunch. Let's look at the pool. This part. Check it out, look. This is a nicer area than ours. Where's our gazebo? Oh, are these the apartments? So, well, we don't have a kitchen. We don't have a kitchen, so we have something. But it ain't an apartment. Uh, yeah, that's interesting. No, why is it closed? I came here for the sauna. <laughs> I, I have actually never seen a pontons with an open pool, but uh, we should check it out. There is a hose outside. Where's a hose outside? Oh. Oh, you'll be evicted. There is a games room. Oh, a games room's open. Check the games room. And this one? Uh, hmm. Ah, yeah. Oh no! Yeah. Major structural work. I can see through the window. You go right up to it. Oh, that's major. They even have mattresses in here. They're not opening that <laughs> any time soon. Yeah. No. Well then. Why right, is the games room? There's two pool tables, a sofa, and uh, two ping pong tables. Oh, and a Connect 4 for shout out to Colopy. And, uh, oh, the vending. Are you not having snacks? Gizzard. So we'll just take, so what is that? Just exploring now. Let's see what there is. Yeah, this is like ours with two pathways and a bit of grass in the middle. So yeah, this is just touring. Do they have go-karts at this one? <laughs> I guess they have go-karts at none of them technically. Oh, no. but Doubt it. Maybe they have mini golf. Why not ask about our themed brakes? Oh, this is the best thing so far. Look at this, look at this structure. <laughs> look, you got everything you need, look. Two columns, some stones. Big pigeon. A uh, big pigeon. Hey, that's good, isn't it? A little statue, look, welcoming you to the park. There you go. So, what is it? Check it out, look. Peggy's Pontins Ducks. Yeah, Pontins Ducks. Apparently there's rats here too. Not our words, but some old man that stopped to, to tell us about them. Look at that. Little duckies. Yeah, there's a river that just runs through the park. You've got the houses here. And the uh, car park and restaurant here. Yeah, the river cuts right through, look. Okay, here's the entertainment. Look at that bench. I've never seen a bench like that. 
There's the mini golf look. Number two, little obstacle. Where'd you get the putters from, I wonder? There's bowls. Well, this is supposed to be outdoor bowls, but how's that work? There's stones everywhere. There's the old mini golf. Cool, I haven't seen some of these for ages. When we used to go mini golf in the early 90s, I remember this one here. Yeah. This little octopus. And that Noughts and Crosses one. That little Humpty. <sighs> yeah, seem to be missing some swings. Nah, I was just looking forward to a good old swing. Never mind. We have this though. Yeah. That's like at the outdoor gym. They have actual golf look over here. 18 holes. I think except uh, <laughs> you drive from the same place every time. Because <laughs> all the flags are next to each other. <laughs> yeah, there's the outdoor fitness zone. Let's uh, see how good it is. Oh, a little bit rusty, isn't it? Look, look at that. This says where you do your pull-ups. How's those old people going to do these pull-ups? I think I counted two young people so far. They love the old uh, outdoor fitness here at Pontins. Some exercises, look. The Tai Chi wheel. Do some chin-ups after some liver and bacon. You're gonna do some pull-ups after some liver and bacon. Here's the Tai Chi wheel, look. Yeah. Yeah, that, that is the entertainment, look. You got driving golf with 18 flags. Technically has 18 holes. Mini golf, if you haven't had enough golf. Swingless swings and an outdoor gym. Outdoor gym looks, it looks solid. A little bit rusty, but uh, it's solid. Yeah, so we're on the swing <laughs> and uh, it came to the wife that uh, this is an adults only pontin. <laughs> and uh, this it's swing, <laughs> this swing is very suspect it being an adult swing. <laughs> Look at the leg space. It's definitely a kid's swing. Yeah, that's a kid's anti-swing. That means it's there's no swing on an adult's pontins. Look, there's the aviary. There's about six little budgies in there. There's a little patio area, look, with some roses. There. And more benches. They like their benches here at Old Pontins. Here. Even benches there. Bench there. Bench for your bench bench press <laughs> yeah most of the garden is one golf course where all the holes are next to each other which we still haven't worked out yet but uh yeah so but yeah let's have a look at the seafront is the seafront they say it's a seaside resort so here it is little road and there's the sea look little bin a lot of shouting and beeping out here I'm not sure what's going on but here's the beach a little old pier or something over there there's a seafront lots of benches imagine living next door to Pontins right there or right there look. that's the beach Okay, good morning. That was probably top 10 worst sleeps. <laughs> what sleep? <laughs> Why are you opening the, well, opening the window, I hear you ask. Well, 
Because there's not much to do here, the bar is always open. So obviously people are buying drinks because they're bored, naturally, you know. Also they're on holiday, why not have a drink? Problem is, when you're here for like a day or two, I think they lump you all together. Because we saw no young people yesterday. And for some reason we must have had the only young couple, family, friend group right next to us and they were wailing, oh my God. wailing, cussing, 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 shouting, just randomly saying oi uh, <laughs> for almost two hours at stupid o'clock so I had to close the window, right? Close the window, right? No, it, it didn't work, it was still, it was still loud but the problem was there's no climate control, there's no AC you either have hot or not hot that is all you have hot. <laughs> and it was boiling because we had that heat wave in the UK. Look, there's even a host pipe ban on TV right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, 6 a.m., they were popping off till at least one. Uh, I think the wife got just over two hours sleep. <laughs> that wasn't the corps de gras. The corps de gras were these pillows, these stones right here, <laughs> these four little stupid stones. Remember at the start of the video where we had our bedding here? We <laughs> took it back to the car. We took it back to the car. We're like, oh god, nice made bed. We take it back to the car. And then I had to do the gauntlet of swearing people to get the bedding. I was like, well, I'm not going through the gauntlet of swearing angry drunk people. I'm just going to keep the stones, right? <laughs> what a bad idea. I should have done the gauntlet. <laughs> and the last thing, um, no, that's not the last thing. I think it has bed bugs, but kind of hidden in these fold oh, because like look I don't, I don't know if you can see my arm is all all red and lumpy uh, here too i don't know how easy that is to see try the other lighting as well was crawling on me, look at that I don't, know what it is. I don't know if it's a spider or a bed bug but i got a uh, five six bites and a big sixth one nightmare so i got it made a tea, remember the kettle was here, so the kettle was here, I'm like, okay, where, where does it plug in, right? There's no outlet, well, there's not there where the TV's plugged in, but it doesn't reach. It doesn't reach the kettle, and then you have to unplug the TV, so yeah, what hold the kettle in the air. Where's the other outlet? The only other outlet in the whole room is next to the bed, so and I had my phone, Laptop, remote, everything on it. I'm like, shit, I've really got to move all this under here just to make a tea. Yes, you do. So you got this boiling away while you're lying next to it, <laughs> thinking it might explode in your face. And you're like, right, I'm getting up. I've given up. I'm getting up, Puntins. You've awoken me. I'm ready now. It's it's 5 a.m. I don't care anymore. So, um, yeah, the, the cracks, the cracks are showing. So luckily, because I think they might have bed bugs here, Luckily, I kept all my clothing in the suitcase, and then I got my suitcase, right? And then I got dressed in the bathroom. Yeah, there's some bugs and things, but nothing on bed bugs. You don't want to take bed bugs home. So I got dressed in the bathroom here, because I feel like it was the safest place, and all my clothes are contained in here. Yeah, mine in Ziplocs. <laughs> yours, are in, yours are in Ziplocs. So, um... Yeah, the cracks are showing, the cracks are showing. I did come with an open mind. We got the room a good, yeah, a good first impression, you know. It's like a stain, oh, who cares about a stain, you know. A pretty good attitude, but the cracks, the cracks are showing. And that was, that was a bad sleep, that was. So. I'm, I'm usually quite chipper, but you, you mess with my sleep, we're, we're in trouble. What is that? Oh. Don't do that, it might fall all in on you. <laughs> That's water damage. That means the roof has been leaking into there, so it might need refelting. But yeah, it does look everything has been kind of taped over. But let's, let's carry on with the day. Let's carry on with the day. So it's morning. I came in the bathroom to have a nice shower. And guess what happened? It's not one. <laughs> There's no shower. To be fair, I prefer baths. <laughs> you just I, mean, I didn't even think to check <laughs> so um yeah bath time there are a, little, a couple little friends around here too mm. 
And the other thing is, um, they don't clean your towels until seven days have passed. There's actually only one towel rack. So you can dry one towel, but your other towel for your other person, um, that's, that's just never getting dry. There's no other towel rack. You have to kind of come back in the afternoon and switch them over or something. So a bit of a mystery. Check this out, look, volume, volume works, but check out when you change the channel, yeah bloody channel doesn't work, <laughs> that's Johnson Thompson, channel don't work, look, even these arrows, yeah bloody work, unbelievable. And uh, the last thing, this green river here, that runs behind the bathroom, uh, because there's no climate control, you kind of have to keep the window open. The problem is we get like all these like little bugs, spiders and beetles. I think there's a guy hiding behind here. Oh, he's gone. The spider's gone. Oh, no. uh, <laughs> is he gone? Okay, they've all scarpered. Uh, who knows where, I don't know. But yeah, they come in. They start coming in in the night and sort of cover themselves in the bathroom. Uh, so yeah, that's a bit annoying too, uh, but hey ho, fountains. Well, that's a dead one. Here's the old pontins bed bug bites a couple of days on. Look, I've got a little face, look, two eyes, a nose, and a mouth. That's good, isn't it? So, uh, it's 6am. The bench is here. I mean, what is it, even is this bench? It's just... Looking into that room, and the benches, it's just a really bad idea because when people get tanked up on the only thing to do here, which is to drink, then they just get out here and say, Oi. pick any bench here and just carry on their drinking. There's no reason they can't bring beers and alcohol to their room when they first arrive and just carry on. And these walls are so thin. That they're just waking everyone up. So we're like, okay, let's call the front desk and try and, you know, do something about it. Except there's no phone in the room. So you're pretty much, imagine being old, you're around 75, 80, you got loud, drunk people outside your room swearing. Are you going to want to go out there? No, you're going to want to get on your phone and snitch on them from your room. But you can't because there's no phone. Also the Wi-Fi doesn't work. And the Wi-Fi does not work. It doesn't even reach the room. It's communal Wi-Fi and the communal Wi-Fi doesn't work. So you're buggered. You're absolutely buggered. No one at the front desk. You saw that old woman. You know she goes to bed at 6 p.m. You are buggered. Uh, looks like you were a bit younger, a bit less vulnerable, but I wouldn't like to be a little old lady there in my room. I feel a bit threatened. I, I wouldn't like that. Let's see what today has in store. So at 6am, there's no one here right now, so we can actually have a little bit of a look around. This is like a little communal room when you've had your dinner through there. You come in here, want to take five, sit down, watch a bit of telly. There's also a pool table and there's that piano we were playing on yesterday. But I didn't see anyone at this bar yesterday, I think it was just permanently dead. And again, the third vending machine with... Pretty much nothing in there. But you can buy a Diet Coke though, that one is available. But, uh, yeah, so that's a little entertainment room, I suppose, but you might want to bring your own chess set. Here's the lounge, look. Sit down, watch a bit of TV. It's alright, actually. There's where you can go dancing out there. There's even some games and books. Let's see what books we can read. Donna Leon. Yeah. Or we can uh, do a hedgehog jigsaw. Lots of jigsaws. Yeah, that might take you a while. Uh, there's actually a lot of games here. So here's the main entertainment area we saw yesterday. There's no one here right now, it's quite early. Then at the side you have your amusements and your lounge look. Watch TV. A little cafe. It's closed right now, but you can perhaps buy something. Oh, there you go, someone's fun. Yeah, must be a cleaner. 
But yeah, that's pretty much the main hall here. That's the DJ's booth over there. There's where you eat. And yeah. So the communal toilets, there's uh, four disabled toilets. So I think they know the clientele here. And each one has uh, everything you need, I suppose. Yeah, there you go, then you can pamper yourself. Here's the breakfast line. There's about 30 people. It's hard to see from here. But uh, we'll get it at some point. To the, uh, here's the dining area. It's the same room, eh? Hey. It's breakfast time. No, get two. Egg time. Two eggs. I can't. So the, some of the plates, they have uh, a lot of stains on the new plates. A lot of food from the store. There we go, got eggs. Bacon. So we got egg clip, a bit of bacon. Wow. Not a bacon. Yeah, I need this protein. Look at the sausages. Oh, big sausages. Yeah, you can do better than that. Okay, I'll, I'll do better. Mound of bacon. I can do a mound. And uh, hash browns look. Oh, yeah, I need to save room for hash browns. Oh, fried bread. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hash browns and sausages. Yeah. Fried well, bread. I don't think I really like fried bread, but I'll have. That's one. weird. I thought that would be your thing. It's, it's like really. It's just all oil. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. It's like cottage cheese or oh, something. Oh, feta? I hope. Mushrooms. Yeah. Tomatoes and beans. Black pudding. Yeah, I need black pudding. <laughs> bit, bit of, bit, um, Beautiful. No, you want me just, to get you? just loads of beans instead. Do you want this? Yeah, but I put in the two, 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 two. If you're sure. Okay. Thank That's you very much. Breakfast. Uh -huh. It's a good breakfast for me. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Thank you. You, you too. too. What cereals do we have? Corn flakes, raisin bran, rice krispies. That is muesli. Oh, sorry. It's muesli. muesli, rice krispies, and. Wait a bit. Okay, yeah, I guess that. So we have yogurt, look. And one prune. Which I think I'll take the prune. That's fine. Beautiful. That's so Just random. found this ice cream freezer, look. They have vanilla, uh, chocolate. They're all kind of stuck together. I guess it's vanilla and chocolate. And there's bread, look, white bread, and lots of wholemeal, and then you can just put it in the toaster. So here's the breakfast. It's not bad actually. Oh, you'll get a nice cream. And over there, they just opened the other breakfast up, which is quite rare. They usually have that closed, but now we have two breakfast bars open. The uh, drinks over here, they don't seem to work. They only work on the other end. So that's yeah, a bit annoying. And there's no cups. Okay, that was breakfast. Um, yeah, again, did a good job. Pretty good. Pretty hungry. But uh, yeah, not bad. Orange juice. It's only available during breakfast. That may explain why water came out in the evening. Uh, yeah, there we go. So, linen day apparently, but. I mean, you're going to be in those next week, eh. if you come back. Maybe they're dirty. They are, but they're not throwing them away, are they? <laughs> so that was breakfast. Last night, a little old lady snitched on me. I don't know why, because I wasn't doing anything wrong. And, uh, yeah, why aren't these, these things updates on? Anyway. You're recording. You're making a video. Anyway, I was making a video on my holiday of my experience and she snitched on me and a manager came over and said, Can I ask why you're filming? Can I, I ask why you're, excuse me, can I ask why you're filming everything? Because I'm from America. Oh right, okay. Um, I was like, yeah, I'm just filming my holiday, well, what's the, what's the deal? And she said, well, I had someone come up to me and said, you keep filming. And I like, well... Isn't that what people do on holiday? I'm not really sure. But uh, yeah, dirty little snitch, huh? but it was fine. She said, uh, oh yeah, it's fine. Just don't post it online anywhere, not on social media, nothing. Keep it for yourself. I'm like, um, 
Do I have to? Is that, is that, a, is that a law that I'm not aware of? But uh, yeah, so that was evening meal breakfast, so we didn't film as much of the breakfast as uh, I'd like. Um, the problem with, with the old grannies here, they, they don't talk anymore. They just scan around the room looking for things that look different to them. And that would be us, because we seem to be the only young ones there, so... Uh, to be fair, some some did talk and they were pretty cool. Yeah, but, yeah, know, they just stared a lot. Yeah, the granny, oh, they're staring a lot, they're staring a lot. That global staring. So, we're about to check out soon. Um, yeah, so one night to her, at the old, uh, the old pontons. I might just admire the art before I leave. So, what do you think of old pontons then? Good. It's been almost 24 hours. <laughs> it's good. Are there anything, things that surprised you? <laughs> um, what was surprising in a good way? Mm. I think the food was surprisingly not bad. Yeah, I didn't actually expect the continental breakfast. Yeah. I had no idea I was going to be getting bacon. So, good portions. You can't find that anywhere really. A dinner and a uh, dessert. And a breakfast with a sort of weird breakfast dessert, and the room and everything for sixty-four pounds. But this was last minute. You know, you can get them way cheaper. So the price, price and food, it's not that bad. So really, cannot complain. Area, it's right by the sea. Tides right out, so it's a bit boggy, but. Uh, Otherwise, yeah, not far. Four miles from Western Supermare, so... Scenic, quiet, other than the people by our room last night. Yeah. Alright then. So, uh, yeah, positives. There are positives, of course. Um, I think it's actually really good if you're an old person. You know, especially because a lot of the activities and things are geared towards old people. You know, the decor, the activities, the food. Uh, you know, so many things, the entertainment, accessibility, uh, things like that. And even the mini golf, you know, uh, <laughs> that's definitely over 30, 40 years old. It's just everything uh, is geared towards either old people or what they're kind of used to. Um, that being said, uh, from a business point of view, I think that's probably a very bad thing because once this generation of people um, move on, then who is actually going to visit this place? This uh, business used to have 30 resorts and now it's down to six. They're not really pumping money back into the business. There's no real reinvestment. Uh, everything seems to be kind of duct taped to make it look presentable. However, when you're in there for a little bit of time, you'll notice, uh, you know, things aren't quite as they, you know, appear to be. Uh, for example, a lot of the other pontins, their go-karts are overgrown. They say they have a swimming pool, but it's always closed. Like this swimming pool had a, a mattress in it. Apparently it's been closed, you know, at least five years, which is crazy because when you book this place, it says you can use the sauna and swimming, which is, you know, blatantly just not true at all. Um, yeah, so it's stuck in a bit of a time warp and if the younger generation aren't coming in here then, you know, no one's gonna, you know, really, they can't really hand the reins off to anyone else, so I feel like it's only gonna go downhill. Which is a bit of a shame really, uh, Fred Pontin, the guy that sort of created it in the 30s, uh, he actually got knighted by the Queen for, you know, giving so much to charity and, uh, helping people out and philanthropy, uh, things like that. So it's an sh actual shame that his name is still on this kind of destination. And uh, since Britannia and all those various other businesses took it over, they gave it such a bad name. So, uh, you know, I'd hate to say it, but he's probably rolling in his uh, grave at the conditions of uh, some of these pontins, which is a real shame, really. Uh, the room itself, yeah, they seem to ask for your age when you come here. And then based on that, they seem to put the young ones at the end there. But the problem with that is that it is actually quite loud. And people are sort of quite obnoxious and loud at, you know, one in the morning when you're trying to sleep. And these communal benches don't help because they facilitate their drinking and things when the pubs are closed. So it's not that helpful. Um... Other than that, you know, it's not too bad. Um, 
It is a bit weird again because if you're the only young person here, you have a very different experience. I think when you're an old person, I think it's actually quite a nice, you know, little mini vacation really. I think a lot of people could retire here. It's actually quite nice. However, the younger generation, they're not just, they're not really going to get it. You kind of have to look at the reviews online and look what you're getting and sort of come with an open mind because if you don't, you're going to have a real bad time. For example, we saw a lot of videos where they were showing all the bad things. So when you see things like missing swings and dilapidated mini golf, you sort of laugh <laughs> rather than being shocked and expecting more. But the thing is, uh, the nearby hotels are double the price and you don't get the food. So you have to kind of weigh the pros and the cons. If you want a cheap night um, at a place, so you're not sleeping in your car, and some food, yeah, for sure, this is it. But do expect, like our room, we had bed bugs. Um, you know, things weren't clean. Uh, the electronics weren't pat tested. They should be tested yearly. But like I say, everything seems to be in the past here. And that goes for the hygiene and the safety as well. So, uh, yeah, th this is, seems to be kind of the summary of things and why people have such diverse opinions on these places. The old oldies seem to love it. The younger generation seem to think it's disgusting and they're never going to go back. So, um, I would say I'd never bring kids here though. I, th I think that's pretty cruel on them <laughs> because when they arrive, you know, mini golf's overgrown, go-karts don't work. Uh, it's just sad, but um, I think for like an adult and older, they'd love it. And you know, for people without kids, it's just a nice cheap place to go and eat. So yeah, that's pretty much the pontins here at Sam Bay. Only six, four miles north of Western Supermare. So yeah, uh, check it out. You've seen it yourself. If you want to stay here, that's up to you. Would you stay here again? Most definitely. Most definitely. See, so mixed reviews. People love it. People hate it. But for us, it was all right. Apart from the bed bugs, but I think we just about met. Oh, and the climate control. It was really hot in the summer. Stupidly hot. You cannot sleep. But other than that, I think a nice winter stay away uh, some nice food it's, it's all right it's all right it's all right all right so uh, take care thanks for watching if you search for pontins groups on facebook you'll, you'll probably notice quite a common thing and that is um if you post anything negative you'll be blocked what does that remind you of here's the old pontins Bed bug bites a couple of days on. Look, I've got a little face. Look, two eyes, a nose, and a mouth. How good, isn't it?